Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Carol and Snowbell, obviously. Um, first of all, massive apology to Laurie. We were supposed to be doing a swap and sew for this month, but there was a massive mix up with my parcel. Uh, oh, it was just a whole drama. Um, the end result is that I haven't got the fabric that Laurie sent me and other bits apparently so i'm absolutely gutted um so what i've done is i've used the fabrics from jovi that i had left over from last time still got some more she sent so much so i've used those and i'm going to show you those and the first thing i did was a little tag and it's just I don't know. I was just playing around with some scraps that were left over. And I think that little kitten looks really cute. It's just plain on the back. I did glue that down. I made a little fabric tag. Just pieced some pieces together. I've done some running stitches. I've padded this out so it's like a little cloud type thing. Put a flower on. I was going to put a couple of buttons on. But... In the end, I've run out of time and I've just put some vintage fabric on the back as a backing and a little loop on the top. This is like a little placemat, same backing. So a little placemat so you can put your little cup on and I've put one of my little cats in this corner. So I think that was super cute and I did some chain stitches around here, running stitches some seed stitches here, some French knots up here. Um, that is satin stitch on these flowers on here. So I've just been practicing my stitching and of course the blanket stitch around the outside. So you could also use that as a like a, a tag in a bookmark in a You could also use this as a tag in a book, in a journal. Then I decided to make some journal covers, just toppers for your journals. Now, it's actually gone a very funny shape for some reason because I had this that came over the edge. And I've, I've, sort, of, I've sort of gone with it. So it'd have to be a very funny shaped journal. But as you can see, lots of stitching, some satin stitching, some turkey work, lazy daisies, put on some buttons and some lace. And this, this all came from Jovi, all this, all the fabrics. Oh, not this bit. This bit was just a printout that I had. But I thought, you know, you could use that as a journal cover. Just put it straight onto your journal it measures um, now it measures seven by five with with sort of an overhang all this is sort of overhanging and uh, that one I was super sweet then I thought I really wanted to use this Eiffel Tower and because of the colour of Gone Boho. So this is another um, journal topper and this one's a boho style. Um, again, it's backed. Sorry, I didn't show you. I did show you the back of that. That was like a silky fabric. This one, I've just, I ran out of time. So I've just glued this on. So that's just as a backing to keep all the knots in. And I've done loads of different knots and bits on here. So first of all, piece together some fabrics in the background, all from Jovi. I've got some, this was actually from this fabric here and it made a loop and I've just sort of turned it into some twists of rope and couched them down. Done some lazy daisies and knots and all sorts of funny things up here. Running stitch that on done invisible stitching round the Eiffel Tower. This I found in my stash and I've just thought it would just 
bring a bit to this so I've added it running stitches um, back stitches lazy daisies as you can see a bit of everything but I thought it turned out wild <laughs> absolutely wild so perfect for a little boho journal so I shall keep these in my stash unless anyone wants them let me know and I will be putting them um, just ready and they'll be ready made to go on a journal I thought which would be quite cool so there you go there's my makes for this month so the next time we're going to upload is the 6th of October or the 8th of October <gasps> I can't remember obviously it's the 8th of October because it's a Saturday so I just want to say thank you so much, everybody, for joining in this. I can't wait to see all the videos that are going to come up today. Loving this slow stitching. just It's just so relaxing. And I hope you're all enjoying the swap and sew. Look forward to seeing some comments below and on my community post later today. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.